Hey, this is Ashley Purdy. And Jinx. And we're, we're Black Veil Brides. Brides. And you're watching the Kerrang! Video Podcast with Simon. Hello and welcome to the Kerrang! Podcast. Uh, Black Veil Brides, uh, Wretched and Divine is in the back. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the making of the album, first of all? Um, yeah, absolutely. I, we're incredibly excited, first of all, about, about the record. So um, We made the record with John Feldman at, at his studio. Um, it's, it's a concept record. It, uh, it kind of follows the story of the Wild Ones, which is a group of kind of five rebels who lead this legion of the black against uh, fear, which is an acronym for forever in all religion. And fear sort of represents this unified uh, church government thing wherein their, their goal is to um, kind of de-evolve society and remove creativity and science and kind of a creative thought from society. And so the goal of the Wild Ones is to kind of uh, lead a rebellion to stop it. So inspired right? this lofty concept. Um, I think more than anything, we wanted to do something that was uh, exciting and and new and and different. And uh, we didn't want to just do like the logical follow up to you know our last record. We wanted to artistically to do something fun and creative and and do something that someone's uh, that no one's really ever done before. Um, doing the movie and doing the record as we did. Uh, but I mean, I think that the thing that was most important to us when we were doing this whole concept album thing was the idea of how do we make a concept album that, yes, it has a cohesive story that runs throughout, but more importantly, it is um, real and it's not disingenuous. And, and these stories are all parallels of our lives. Um, there's nothing that's on that record that isn't from personal experience and then fictionalized and made into a parallel story. I wanted people to be able to listen to this record and hear individual songs and, and not be like, well, what is that? What's going on there? You know. Mm -hmm. So the way that we the, the record goes is that you can listen to any song and take your own meaning from it. But if you listen all the way through and there's there's some voice acting and a few different things as transitions in between the songs, that's kind of what really keeps the, the story cohesive. Yeah. So um, in the end, just the lead single. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about that track in particular? Uh, it's basically the fi final wrap up of the whole story. Um, you know, in the end, it's just, you know, if you want to elaborate, Andy, on the story. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, the the story kind of, uh, there's a, definitely an arc, and then towards this song is when things are kind of wrapping up, you know. It, the, the end is kind of, I guess, a little bit ambiguous in the sense that we didn't want to make it so that there was a winner or loser in this kind of battle. It's just sort of... It, it's the way that life is, and I think that the only thing that's really important, and, and what I've learned, especially since, you know, recently someone very close to me died, and um, I started to think about how for so long people have argued about whether there's a heaven or a hell, or whether there's an afterlife or not, or whether there's a god or not, and really the only surefire way to ensure that you have any kind of afterlife or to live on is by creating a legacy of some kind, something that pe will live on with people, um, and, and sort of, I guess, making sure that you have some amount of glory, whether it's from a, some an action that you've done or it's just how you've been as a person and, and being a genuinely good person or, or doing something good for someone else, um, creating your own afterlife, you know, in the end. Uh, February, you're headlining the Quran tour 2013. Uh, how excited are you to be returning to the UK? Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, super we're excited. Yeah, we always thought this was a yeah. for us, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, what? You're playing with uh, you sort of headline bill, which features Chewed Off, Tonight Live, and Fearless Vampire Killers. Uh, what will Black Blackfield Brides bring to the uh, the, the Kerrang table, uh, you know, on this tour? Uh, uh, a brand new set list, first of all. I mean, uh, the set that a lot of the songs, um, a lot of new songs from the record, um, and then we're we're just going to try to play some songs that we haven't played in a long time. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, we're going to bring the uh, we're bringing the show. Excellent. Are you planning production stuff already? Or Absolutely. Just, yeah. Yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah, we want we want this to be the biggest thing we've ever done in in the UK. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. So thank you very much. Okay, thanks. Thank you.